out in the garden again, of course, and I'm next to one of uh, my two redbud trees that I have out here. Most of the blooms were gone, and I thought I'd be just about done talking about that, but we've had a lot of pollinators visiting it the last couple of days. Um, when people talk about pollinators, you know, you hear a lot about the monarchs and and maybe the painted lady butterflies, but you don't hear a lot about, you know, the bigger uh, uh, critters out there and <laughs> some of the more unusual ones. Most people don't realize a mosquito is a pollinator. Um, you know, um, it, it's, it's a process. It's part of this interactive web of everything that's alive, and that, that's awesome. But uh, the visitor I've been seeing here lately is the California carpenter bee, and um, it's, it's often confused with a, a bumblebee, um, true, it is a, a, a non-social bee. It only gets together when it's time to make more bees. But um, it um, um, will, in April and May, uh, it'll the female only will bore uh, these holes about the size of a, a finger deep into the wood. Uh, it usually goes in, makes a right angle, and then the tunnel goes in. It'll pack that with pollen and an egg and then dam it up with a little wood plug, make room for the next one. You know, cause a lot of damage and a lot of people freak out about that. But the key is, paint your wood. If you've got a piece of wood that you don't want a carpenter beetle uh, bee to go into, you need to paint that so that they don't uh, take advantage of it. Um, but otherwise, it's it's all habitat. It's all part of making this whole thing work. Now, these bees that are being laid now are going to be emerging as adults in August. So we'll see another storm of them in August, which will be pretty cool. So... All right, well, that's enough about bees today. Be safe, be well.